Alright, so I decided to wait until it got a little bit darker here, so that way you guys can see the flames a little bit better. Uh, it's not that dark, but it's dark enough. So the first thing we'll do is turn our fuel on. And now, right now, I've been lighting it from the front because I don't have my ignition system set up yet with the spark plug. Now the only problem with that is that you have to make sure that the, uh, that the flame is, is burning at the injector all the way down here. If it's burning at the end here, when you turn the uh, vacuum on, in case I didn't mention, I got the vacuum cleaner hooked up in case of the turbo right now. Anyhow, when you turn the vacuum on, it'll just blow the flame out if it's burning right at the end. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually the first time I fire it up, I'm going to give it too much fuel and turn it on, you'll see it flame out. And then I'll, uh, I'll do it one more time, so that way you get to see that uh, what I'm talking about when it ignites from inside. So here we go, get our torch laid up. Alright, so for, like I said, first I'm going to give it too much fuel and uh, have a flame out. So here we go. So that's what happens when you have too much fuel. So now I'll show you what happens when you light it with just a little bit of fuel. Just a little trickle. And then once it ignites, then I give it, uh, then I turn the vacuum on right away. A little bit too much.
probably has something to do with the high temperature and possibly a loss of pressure in the fuel, uh, fuel supply. Remember, we're running on propane, so vapor pressure starts to go down. Either way, I'm going to uh, throttle it up again real quick, and then we're going to 